The Blades have bagged Benny. But who is he? Welcome to the Chef United way. My name is Hal. Sheffield United have a new signing. This is the theme of pre-season. Signing, signing, signing. We want more. Are we ever satisfied as football fans? Obviously not. Is he a good signing? Let's find out. Let's look a little bit more into this transfer. And I hope, as always, with every new signing, that I get pronunciations correct. If I don't, it's not intentional. I promise. I would love to get everything right every single day of my life. Benny Adama Traore, 20 years old. He'll be 21 on the 30th of November. He's from the Ivory Coast, born in a place called Aragio, the same town that has produced some footballers of pretty good acclaim, international repute, Serge Aurea, Frank Kessie, amongst many others. He's right-footed. He joins United from one of the best sides in the country of Sweden, club BK Hacken, who he joined in 2021. They unexpectedly won the league last year. Prior to that, he'd been with his homeland side of Asek Mimosas. Now, United have fought off interest, if you believe all the press, all the reports from Scottish powerhouses, Rangers and Celtic. It sounds to me like Sheffield United have done very, very well to actually get this deal over the line because Traore is in a position of need. He is a striker, but he can operate on the wing as well if required. Sheffield United don't tend to play with wingers. These aren't the Slavisa Jakanovic years. But it's quite interesting when you do have options, isn't it, for a player that can drift out, that Paul Heckenbottom then can maybe play other players further up and ask Traore to perhaps utilise as a number 10 or or go up front and do like a, a Callum Robinson, you know, but better and go out wide. And we think we remember Callum sort of doing that a few times, popping up on the left or the right, putting crosses in and, you know, perhaps Traore can do something like that. Worth mentioning that he hasn't represented the Ivory Coast fully yet, but he is part of the international setup. He was called up to the Ivory Coast under 23s in March of this year. He's not the tallest, Various different websites uh, list his height as five foot seven, uh, five foot eight on a good day. Um, five foot eight, as we know, the perfect height for a man. No man needs to be taller than that. I say this as a man who is one inch above average height. He's bagged 15 goals in just 20 games, including 12 in 14. Alex Svenskin, definitely got that wrong. Fixtures for Hacken. That's a Gothenburg-based club, Hacken, in the Swedish top flight this season. He's had more shots on target than any other player in the division. In Hacken's first home league game of the season, he kicked things off with, get this, a hat-trick against Hammerby and then continued his scoring streak in the next three games. Four of his goals this season, and I think this is worth mentioning, have been penalties. So, of course, taking penalties can inflate the scoring stats, but never a bad thing to have a cool customer when it comes to pens, especially as Sheffield United have said goodbye to Billy Sharp, who, when he was on the field, would be first choice to take penalties. Will it now be Benny Traore? That'll be up to Paul Heckingbottom. It's unlikely he will give me a call uh, because he doesn't have my number. Um, and ask my opinion. But um, you know, if he was to ask my opinion, I'd say, let me come to the training ground and have a look at all of them taking penalties, and then I'll choose Ben Osborne. In total, Traore's played 57 times for Hacken, scoring 24 with nine assists. Bear in mind, he was injured in his second year with the club for eight months. That was a broken leg. Must have been a horror of a broken leg. But with that, considering that eight months out, it's a decent goal return. Also remember as well, not being utilised as a striker the entire time. So even better. He's technical, flair player, good first touch, a dribbler who can draw a foul, although perhaps not as much as we've come to see with Iliman and Dai, but that may just be the rough and tumble nature of the championship. Perhaps in Sweden, it's not played quite as physically as that. My knowledge of Swedish football is fairly minimal. But a bit like Illy, Traore works hard to get the ball back. He's busy off the ball. He likes to get crosses in when he drifts along that front line, something I've already mentioned that Heckenbottom might want to ask him to do. Uh, he can play on either flank if deployed as a winger, which, as I say, is unlikely in a Paul Heckenbottom system. Uh, Hacken utilised him up top or on the right, primarily, 
when they picked him. He's quick, agile, and hopefully he's put his injuries behind him. As uh, online, looking at some of the footage, some of the clips, he looks a very fit lad. He, he looks pacey. And, you know, I've seen from the clips and highlights, I think he's got very good positional sense as well. But also, and I really like this, a selfishness. All good strikers need that, right? And he's somewhat of a poacher from what I've seen. He's quite a slight player, but for that, he still seems fairly brave. His trickery means he knows how to win a penalty, which I guess if you're taking the penalties, you know, that's kind of like, oh, I definitely want to win this as an extra incentive there. And that could be extremely useful in the top flight where we know chances are hard to come by. The thing in the top flight, you, know, you can always think back to previous Premier League seasons with the Blades. You can win Stonewall penalties. You're not necessarily going to get them given if they are, for example, say, at Old Trafford. He likes to run in behind defences and he has that ability to both start and end attacks with minimal touches. I like everything I have seen about Benny Traore. There's certain things you have to kind of say, well, why are, are not all of Europe's sort of top clubs looking at a player with this kind of goal return? And it, it probably is because it's been a, a good start. I don't want to say a flash in the pan this season, but he hadn't previously proven that he had that regular goal return. Now, there's a few reasons for that. It might be that during that time out injured, some players, they realise just how much they miss the game. And when they come back, they just want to prove to everyone and in themselves as well that they are fully recovered. Also, it could be because he's now playing primarily as a striker. And that might have been when he was growing up the position he always wanted to play. And some players don't always give everything they can give when they're played out of position. It's just not natural for them. And that's understandable. So now he's playing there. What we don't want to see is a player that has just had one of those experiences of scoring lots of goals and can't consistently continue that. And maybe a change of scenery might make that difficult because he's clearly found himself very comfortable this season in Sweden playing up front for Hakim. Quick reactions, an eye for goal. That's what I like about him. Could see him as a perfect complement to what United already have. Or in a worst case scenario, and I don't even like saying this out loud, as an early man and die replacement. And let's hope, even if it is, one day is nearly man and die replacement. It's no time soon. And also, he's not like for like. They have many differences. But if I was to say striker-wise, he's more illy than he is McBurney, for example. That's not to say he couldn't play alongside both Illy Man and Die and Ollie McBurney. I can see a number of scenarios where they support each other in maybe a fluid, kind of ever-moving attack. And it's worth remembering as well, Sheffield United have other striking options like Rian Brewster. And there's one player I think of when I think of reading about Traore coming back from injury and finding his shooting boots. Wouldn't it be amazing if we had a player like Traore carrying on that form and then Brewster, when he eventually comes back from injury, finding his shooting touch again. Really could be quite exciting. And I am excited about this transfer and I welcome Benny Traore to beautiful downtown Bramall Lane. Hope he does hit the ground running. Let me know what you think of this signing in the comments below. And if you get a chance to do it, please subscribe to the Chef United way. It is free. Thank you very much for watching. Back next time I'm back.